Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Tarki Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which are appeared in SVP's entrance examination from the lesson of atomic structure from the year 2015 to 2018. These are year-wise questions from the lesson of atomic structure. The three quantum numbers N, L, and M of the unpaid electrons of copper atom in the ground state are. This is the electronic configuration of copper. This one is the argon 3D10 4S1. This is the ground state electronic configura configuration of copper. Here the unpaid electron occupies a 4S orbital and uh, the quantum numbers for 4S orbitals will be n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 0 so nl is equal to 0 so this is the correct option the number of possible lines in the emission spectrum of hydrogen atom from the principal quantum number quantum level n is equal to 7 to n is equal to 3 is for the calculation of number number of possible lines number of uh, lines in hydrogen spectrum is equal to delta n into delta n plus 1 by 2. This is the part. Here delta n is difference in levels n2 minus n1. Here delta n is equal to n2 minus n1 is equal to 7 minus 3. So 4. So the number of lines will be 4 into delta n is 4 into 4 plus 1, 5 divided by 2. So this one is equal to 10. So A is the correct option. The wavelength of a certain line in Bama series is observed to, to be 4341 angstrom. It current corresponds to an emission from this state with the principal quantum number. Okay, we have to find out the, the value and we know the equation mu bar wave number is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. This is the relation between wave number and uh, n1, n2 and the Rydberg constant. Mu bar can be written as uh, 1 by lambda. 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Here lambda values are given. Wavelength of uh, certain line is given. We have to find out the n2 value for Palmer series. So, lambda is equal to 1 by r, which can be written as this one can be written as the n2, n1 square, n2 square divided by n2 square minus n1 square. For Palmer series, what is the n1 value? n1 is equal to 2. two. Lyman, for Lyman, n1 is equal to 1 Balmer n1 is equal to 2. We have to find out n2 value. Here lambda is given 1 by r in terms of angstroms is equal to 9, 1, 2 angstroms. This one we have to remember. For uh, simple calculation, we have to remember 1 by r value. 1 by r is equal to 9, 1, 2 angstroms. So here here lambda is equal to 1 by r is the 9, 1, 2 angstroms and then n1 square 4, n2 square you have to find out and uh, n2 square minus 4. Here lambda is given. What is the lambda in angstroms 4, 3, 4, 1. So 4 n2 square by n2 square minus 4 is equal to lambda by 9, 1, 2. Lambda is 4, 3, 4, 1 by 9, 1. Okay. When you simplify this equation, you will get the N2 is equal to around 5. You will get approximately, you will get N2 is equal to 5. So, D, D is the correct option. The speed of an electron in the first Bohr orbit of hydrogen is x. Then the speed of the electron in H plus in the second orbit is. Actually, speed of the electron. Speed of the electron this is the formula 2.18 into 
10 to the power of 6 meter per second into z by n. This is the speed of an electron z into z by n meter per second. Okay, let's take the uh, first one, first bore orbit. First bore orbit, what is the speed? V, let's take hydrogen of first orbit is equal to 2.18 into 10 to the power of 6, z is equal to 1, so 1 by 1 is equal to, this is the x, this one is given as x. Then what about helium, second orbit, what is the speed of an electron in helium, which is present in second orbit, it will be equal to 2.18 into 10 to the power of 6, z by n, 2 by 2, so similarly you will get 2.18 into 10 to the power of 6. Again you are getting the B helium 2 is equal to x you are getting. So what is the value you will get? The speed of the electron in H plus in the second orbit is x. The quantum numbers n, l, n and m of the highest occupied atomic orbital of beryllium are. What is the beryllium electronic configuration. This one is 1s2, 2s2. This is the highest occupied orbital. This is highest occupied orbital. Among occupation, this one has highest occupied. And uh, next one, 2p is the lowest unoccupied. 3p. 1s2, 2s2, 3p0. This one is highest occupied atomic orbital. This one is highest unoccupied atomic orbit. Then what are the quantum numbers for 2s? It will be 1, 0, sorry, 2, n is equal to 2, l is equal to 0, and ml is equal to 0. So this is the correct option. The atomic weight of antimony is 121.757 AMU. It has only two naturally occurring isotopes. Abundance of uh, Isotope with the mass, the abundance the percentage is given. The mass of the other isotope is here. The atomic weight, atomic weight is equal to percentage abundance, abundance uh, of an isotope into mass of an isotope divided by 100. Here you have two isotopes. The first isotope. Mass is 120.904 and uh, its percentage is 57.3. Let's take uh, 57.3. Let's take uh, the atomic mass of second isotope, other isotope. Let's take X. We have to find out X. And the percentage of second isotope will be 100 minus 57.3. So you will get. Uh, uh, 43.7 you will get. So 43.7 divided by 100. And here the yeah, atomic weight is given 121.757. When you simplify this equation, you will get x is equal to around 122.9 like that. So this is the correct option. 192.902. Consider photoelectric effect interference. The equation E is equal to mc squared. The behavior of light in this case or respectively. Light, if you take this one, this one has dual nature. This one has the particle nature, and also it has wave nature. Some experiments prove that light has wave nature. Some experiments prove that light has particle nature. Suppose if you take photoelectric effect, photoelectric effect. Okay, according, uh, in case of photoelectric effect, when you send some waves on metals, there is ejection of electrons. Electron is a particle. When there is ejection of electron, it means the wave has particle nature. And E is equal to mc square. Here, uh, there is a mass particles has mass. So E is equal to mc squared. This one also particle. This one indicates uh, light has particle nature. And interference, uh, this is the property of uh, 
diffraction interference. So these are the properties of waves. And E is equal to H nu. This one also indicates uh, this one has wave nature. Light has wave nature. So this photoelectric effect, so this one is particle nature. Interference, wave nature. And the equation E is equal to mc squared, this one also particle nature. So the option is particle wave, particle nature. In an orbital, the sign of lobes designate. Suppose if you take a, a p orbital, this one plus minus. If you take g orbital, it will be plus, plus, minus, minus. These signs do not denote, do not denote charge. If you take orbital, it has negative charge. Obviously, it has negative charge. So probable to find an electron. Electron has negative charge. Here, the, it means uh, here positive charge. It does not mean it, here there is a positive charge. Here there is a negative charge. Actually, these signs indicate the wave function. Plus, in wave function, we have some positive coordinates. We have some negative coordinates. Here you have positive coordinates, here you have negative coordinates. This is the meaning of uh, signs which are present in the orbital. So, the lobes, the signs of the lobes designate signs of the wave function. If you take probability distribution, always positive. There is no negative values. Presence or absence of electron, it's not like that. Presence or absence of electron, it will be uh, at most, there is absence of electron. In the remaining all cases, there is a presence of an electron. It's not sign of charge. So, what is the correct option? Sign of the wave function. In coming video, I will explain the remaining questions in atomic structure. Thank you.